world. I understand in spiritual world, guru is so important. Of yes. course. But in material world, in material world, who is my guru? Because we have many teachers and I have a husband. Mm -hmm. I think my husband is maybe club, maybe pr maybe club. My husband is club. He guides me as a role. So in material world, who guides me? Who guides me? Actually, husband is always guru also, and he is a Narayan also. Guru means he is the real teacher. And Narayan means if you behave very harmony in family life, Lakshmi will come in that house. That's very important. Mother is first guru. Father is first. Mother, father, husband is the guru. But it, if someone is so much material, they don't know a spiritual thing. They cannot know. They are dark, ignorant. Maybe one mother and father they are ignorant, they have no idea to how to be a peaceful. They are nice mother, everything good, but they are not in peace as well. They don't know what they are doing, they don't know the result. So one guru, a spiritual master who is in the peace, they can bring peace to you and to your family. And when there is a peace, then a spiritual life can grow. Your realization can grow if you have a family life. If peace is not there, then never happiness can come. What is meaning of a spiritual life? Basic is peace. And peace and happiness. And happiness is to know the reality, truth, to connect with the truth. One is to connect with material thing and one is to connect with the truth. To connect with the truth is this, that I am a soul and I want to identify myself to know more higher the Savior, the Lord of the universe who created us. This is the truth. My senses are not truth. My body will die. My mind will make always doubts in others. How to be balanced and come to realize this? They will hold me, not go for that. The truth we have to know. If I don't know the truth, I have to suffer. Suffering is because ignorance. If the ignorance is there, suffering is there. In Vrindava, I feel so peaceful. But this morning I called my husband, but I feel so material <coughs> feeling. So I feel so distant by, uh, from my husband. But I learn, I, I, I understand that love is important. I think so, of course. But I can't love him so much, so what happened to me so very 
it's my problem, maybe so. So, some advice, please. It will be a happy soul is Living in Vrindavan will give you more harmony and peace in your life. Before was not peace and harmony. You not balancing. Now you can balance more. You will see when the circumstances will come. More harmony. So harmony means peace, balancing yourself. Harmony, harmony. Harmony. I fix my goal. I fix my goal. You, if you fix with Krishna, mm -hmm. then you fix the goal. Yes. If you no fix with Radha and Krishna, your goal is not fixed. You have to fix in your eyes and mind and everything Radha and Krishna. Mm. Why I say to sit in the front of Radha, do service of Radha, then you will engage in loving relationship. You see, this Radha Mohan deity of Karnamrita, she dress every day, make new dress. Why she make the dress? She can buy from the shop. She every day is new clothes because she has a feeling and love to give, make this. These feelings make feeling and they talk, no, today I will wear this color and she has to do. They talk and they, she do that. It's all feelings. If you are not connected, again you will disturb, you will connect different things. Connection is important. Your connection, how deep is that? Externally connection, no. You have to be in exchange of connection. Connection means connection. Relation. This relation, you see the life of Jesus. He was connected with his father and he connected with all the person. Why? Because he thinks that all my brother and sister, all are my brother and sister, and I have to help them. So relation makes you connection. Similarly, here if you make the love and relation, that will become connection. Karnamrita has a love. Relation, feelings, and that he connect, he talks. About Saranagati, um, maybe one devotee can accept you formally, like uh, Diksha Guru or Shiksha Guru, mm. but uh, because uh, for many years we have uh, our mind uh, like a guru, we have the tendency to continue to follow our mind. Mm. I know better than you what is good for me. Our mind uh, is like this, no? Mm. Mm. So the question is, uh, when, uh, mm. which is the, the way to uh, make more fast this switch to go because uh, after many many years I, I, I can see in myself also in other devotee I accept you Guru Dev but uh, I maintain my my idea that my mind 
give me bet, better uh, suggestion than you. And I follow my mind. So, in which way I, I, I can uh, be this process more fast to arrive in the platform of uh, Saranagati? Because it's a big word of Saranagati. Very yeah, big word. Big word. It's a very big word. So, how to say that become clear? Sharnagati is a very big word. Sharnagati means I am in the umbrella. Like you go to the sun, you put the umbrella in this umbrella. Just move the umbrella, close the umbrella, sun will come to you, water can come to you. And if you open the umbrella, you can protect yourself. And always live in that umbrella is also very important. That is only mercy by the grace is coming in our life. Something happens in my life, my heart say, no, this is my place to be there is a very spiritual connection, it's not a mind can calculate, it's a heart-to-heart -heart calculation. It's a mercy, this is the kripa, that you feel your, your place, really he's my real friend, he's my real brother, he's real father, real mother, I can feel like this. Is a feeling, is not calculation. Mind cannot calculate. So beyond mind is things. Like, you know, prepared to love someone, it's happened. It's a not mind business that I, I calculate to love this man. Then you don't love. It's happened from the heart. Is it this same mercy, kripa sadhana? This is true mercy. When it, when this happens, my life changes. When it's happening, is a mercy. So without the love, no possible saranagati. And that was. Heart can move only when love is there. Heart can not accept, mind can calculate. Heart has no calculation. Heart when stop calculation, mind stop calculation, not listening to the mind, the heart's move. And that is mercy. And no doubts are there. <coughs> so, no saranagati give love. The opposite, love gives saranagati. Yes. This is explained in Shastra that um, saranagati comes from Shraddha. And uh, Shraddha, I, I say Shraddha is the seed of Prema. So there is love in Shraddha. And from that, that is the internal thing in your heart, Vishwata, and then it manifests its Saranagati in your life. have a suggestion for someone who is not able to connect with that, their heart as to how to feel that or describe that to someone that maybe not not centered there in the first place? 
then you will say this this four is not connected with art is the material very much material practice is there so that way there is no feeling too much without feelings is a not in connection with the heart <laughs> so much i am involved in my senses body and mind that i cannot connect with myself my heart so that also need mercy what do they uh, they do he connect with your heart and soul that connections make you alive you see chaitanya chaita amrita bhagavad gita and what is sardha then what is this first sardha adav shraddha भजन मीन्स praying of the lord singing for the lord thinking for the lord sharing for the lord this is bhajan kriya chanting for the lord <coughs> then that anartha nidhita then automatic you have no time <coughs> to do the anartha because you are in the bhajan kriya when you are in the bhajan how you can do the anarthas you have no time automatic anartha is no so sardha bring me step by step in right place then then nishta bhajana kriya yo you see that nishta form faith is that in beginning is like a shraddha shraddha is like a, yes i like but but is also there but nishta means confirm faith form faith no doubt if but is not there yeah any question no yeah um every the god to every bhakta has a special bhav special mood and that bhav it comes out through the eyes can i can i see that mood can you i see the bhav is a feeling in english is a feeling and it comes through the eyes how one mother has a feeling for his child you can see the mother eyes how is feeling for the child where he will see his eyes is fixed in the sun he see every place sun eyes is fixed is a feeling Again, I want to say about Jesus. He was 
fix with his father, Abba, not with God. The, his eyes was fixed with the father in the love of father. You see the eyes of Jesus. He is not fixed with the God. God fixed person many who want from the God. And he wants to give to the Father because he is a son. The lover always gives to his lover, beloved. Mother always give to his son. Friend always give to his friend. And conjugal lover also give to his beloved. In conjugal love what is happening? It's all like giving. Business of giving. And this is, you can see from the eyes. Business of giving. Giving, not taking. Before was the taking because he was God. I know, see that he is my friend. He is my God. God is my friend. So God I can take. Son is God, so I want to take from my son because he is a God. Father is a God, I want to take from Father. No, I don't believe he is a God. I believe he is my, my eyes will change. His vision will change. He will see the every place his son, because he's a mother. He cannot differentiate that only she is my daughter and he is not my son. He has to see everyone like a son, because he make the son who is the himself Gopal. So all is Gopal for him. He see Gopal every place. He see everyone to the friend, and he see every place to feel that conjugal love. So where to know this conjugal love? Without mercy of Radhika? No possible. The highest conjugal love is only of the Radha and Krishna, where you can go and enter to see that, feel that. There is no way. So everything is in Vrindavan. Why this happen in Vrindavan? Because they are married couple in Goloka. They say the married couple, they no need to announce when they will meet each other. They are in room, they can close, nobody can come because we are married couple. We go to rest, marriage couple. Nobody will say something. But he said, in this time I will become, taste the parkia. We are not married and we need help for meeting. Because it's become too much. It's not taste, not new thing is happening. They want to teach us living soul to bring to her in that love and show their love. So they, they come in Parkya Bhav to give that feeding of love to us. 
that you come and help me. And if you are very sincere to the servant of Radhika, you can go even the meeting place where they meet each other and share their talks. This was only possible in Vrindavan. And this is only possible in this Kali Yuga to come out from the material bondage by listening that past time and going in that past time. This is the only mercy, special mercy of Radhika and Krishna. Nimbarki, they have some boga, not Vipralamba. They are interested only in union, no? But uh, it's very strange that they, they live in Brindavan, they know about Parakia. Why? Because the bhav is a feeling. I have a different... Uh, one has a motherly mood. How mother can feel the conjugal love? They can feel? Oh. No. Oh. For them it's too heavy. Mm-hmm. And you say to conjugal lover to feel motherly love, is too heavy for them. Why? Because the conjugal lover need to exchange without any privacy in between them. Mother and son has a privacy, but the conjugal love in between there is no privacy. If there is a privacy, there is no conjugal love. There is no existence of privacy. But mother and son Although she feed the breast to the sun, but after that there is a privacy. So is that all eyes are different because the feelings are different. How is different? Feelings are different, means my bhav is different. I might be, uh, like you see the bhav of Jesus. He is looking to all his family. Love your neighbor, means love everyone because they are all your brother and sister. They come from one father. This is the feeling of him. His eyes was like that. He see like this. So it's all your relation. If you fix the relation with Krishna, your eyes become like that. You see that. But how to know conjugal love? So Krishna cannot teach. Only Radhika can help you to know. Without mercy of Radhika, you are nowhere in conjugal love. You cannot know anything. When she will give the grace and she will give you mercy to feel, then you will know the conjugal love. And that is Rupanuga. Before that, no test of Rupa. Rupanuga means I follow the Rupa, Manjari. I want to identify myself as a Manjari because we are follower of Rupa. Rupa Manjari follower means I am Manjari, then I can follow. That is Rupa.
means that vision not change means my mind is not changed my my heart is fixed my thinking is not changing i feel everything in one mood what i see everything in one mood my feelings fixed with that <coughs> and this practice is our spiritual life up to goodness practicing is not a spirituality what is that the fourth effort the fifth effort is our spiritual life prem prashad loving relation Loving connection is spiritual. Dharma, art, karma, moksha is not spiritual. Even the moksha is not spiritual. Without pancham prasad, without fifth effort, loving efforts, is dharma, art, karma, moksha all do. It's not a big. <coughs> but the difficult is prem prasha prem prasha is the highest you read any place the scripture is a prem prasha essence of all the scripture is the prem prasha loving of relation and love is more or less easy to understand the feeling of friend no more or less easy to understand the feeling of whatsarya more or less easy to understand the feeling of uh, maduria but uh, the, the position of manjari is not so easy to understand because this is raga raga nuga friend madali la servant lachya is raga ro ha the srupa nuga is difficult because you have to identify to your avidya in your soul consciousness and soul has to to get the form of that to act, to act like this like i give you one example of jesus to understand he has no relation with his father he 
if you see like this, no genetic relation. Huh? But he has no genetic re- relation, really. He has a spiritual relation. He identify himself as the soul that I am a son. He fits in that. He no physically identify himself. He identify his soul, his realization. He realized this, <coughs> and then he see that super soul is my father. This divine. And he fixed in his son form. And where he see, he see the children of this father. Without a spiritually identification of your soul, how you can see divine? You cannot. Genetic you will see only with genetic. My disciple, or when I will accept, when I realize myself and I have a spiritual all connection, all my sons, all my brother and sister spiritually. But when I will see genetic, then it will be limited. <coughs> There is no limitations. Why not limitations? What was the divinity? His realization of himself. That is to do. Why he said to you, to Vrindavan? He said you. How you can come? He sent you to learn more about love and this realization. What I got it of my missing days. Go and learn this. They will not teach you. Because they are not realized this. That you realize, my dear. To who I, how to, why come? Why come only to love? In different, different form. What you test, what you like to test, make it one fixed. That I want to make you son. And I will develop my divine vision to see every place to you. What is Guru Nistha? This Guru Nistha makes it uh, that you can see to every place to Guru Dev. In all, is a divine vision. It is start with Guru Seva, then Ista Seva. It's all divine. Is a soul connection. And the Ista Seva is divine. Is all three divine? Your soul, your Guru Dev, and the Ista Dev means the Radha and Krishna. This all divine. Is all divine. Name is divine. This all connect you to be in divine to realize that relationship. To be in that relationship. Hmm? That's it. Can you so you can explain again? First Guru Seva and Ishta Seva. Guru Nistha. Guru Seva Nistha. Guru Nistha, Guru gave name. Why he gave name? Because he will not with you always. He gave name that if you have a Nistha, faith in this name, it will re- give you realization to see Guru Dev every place. How do you know? Guru Dev is a divine. Is not a um, physical body. Guru Dev is helping from the children. 
One small child will say, you, you have to understand my Gurudev is giving instruction. Then Guru Nishtha comes. You see in everyone Gurudev. You are, they are not your disciple. They are Gurudev himself coming to teach you. This is Guru Nishtha. There is no any place where my Gurudev is not exist. When this vision will come, then Radha Krishna will appear. Gurudev will say, now I am going and you will, you will see. <laughs> and you can start looking to him. If you like Gopal, Gopal will appear. This is divine. You are fixed and you will see with that relation everything, every place. One pointed. When he brings it, then he says, no need Old Testament, New Testament. What is New Testament? Only love. Love is New Testament. What type of love? Sexual love? Other sex is not love. Physical love? Mental love? No, it's not love. Love is from heart. He's so here. This adds to love. Love is a this. When this heart meet, feel good, feel separation, that's love. Love is when you feel. Mind is feeling? No, it is feeling. Heart is feeling. In the business of heart, and then seva sadhak rupena, siddha rupena, chatrihi, means the all, by this physical body you will, everything you will do normal is a seva. This all body is for seva. All your senses is to serve. And chatrihi, Siddha Rupena, because you put the umbrella of your divine consciousness, you will see every place to him. Chatrahi. You protect yourself in that umbrella. Chatra means umbrella. Siddha Rup, make you all covered with all your senses become divine to see that. You are not in bodily consciousness. This Siddha Rupena, realization of your spiritual identity, only can increase by bhajan, chanting, sadhu sangha, meditations. <laughs> and when you fix, you can help many people by your realizations. Is all realizations. Is not a philosophy. Philosophy cannot help you in realizations. Why, as you see, went to the meditation, if why not he study the philosophy? He went to the as as you see, went to the meditation in the cave. Why? I am giving you the example. He can also read philosophy and get the realization. It's a realization come by your bhajan, by your meditation, by your fixing point. That realization can help others. 
philosopher will never help. They can hammer you something to from dharma, artha, kama, moksha, because then philosophy go up to that level. They cannot go in pancham pursat, fifth effort of the love. That is different thing. He is a fifth effort, fifth. These four efforts, philosophy can work. Check, listen philosophy, where this working. Logical injunction, the Vedic literature, where is breaking? Where did they bring it? Pandiji? Yes. Say me. You are the master in logic injunctions. <laughs> <laughs> you are Pandit by ye. What they break up to now? Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, right? You more. They bring you to Pancham Purusharth. Uh, Baba says in his commentary on the first verse of Prima Bhakti Chandrika that these four things, <coughs> Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha, they are all cheating. Cheating. And uh, <laughs> moksha, moksha is the worst kind of cheating. You see? Jaiho. In the first verse, <laughs> Can I read something? Yeah. This, uh, we were speaking before about the different stages, Shraddha, Sadhu Sangha, Bhajana Kriya, Varnata Nivitti, Nishta Bhajana Kriya, Ruchi, Ashakti, Prem, and so on. So here Gurudev is saying, today we have concluded the teachings of Raghavat Machandrika. And Tama Krishna Maharaj says, may I ask a question? Yes. <coughs> Who is asking? Guru of his God, Tamal Krishna. <laughs> yeah, which page? Uh, 120. <coughs> yes, Shira Guru says, Tamal Krishna Maharaj, you have told us that one in Gopi Bhav should know one's Gopi name, age, parents, place of birth, and so many things like this. At what stage? Hold, hold. Read again. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are listening. You have to keep one mic also. You have to buy one mic that your voice should go. <laughs> <laughs> this is a loud speaker. Yeah. No, small. The, the Agarwal, you can get it. Agarwal, okay. Kind of done it. Like you use on, <laughs> on Parinam Sankitan, yeah. the street. No, it's small, the very small. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I will try to amplify my voice <laughs> so it can reach every corner of the room. <laughs> <laughs> so, Tamal Krishna Maharaj, he is asking a question. You have told us that one in Gopi Bhav, he should know his gopi name. You see, first you have to know the name. There are one name when you born, your mother, father give you. Then second name, a spiritual master give you, a spiritual name. That is also second birth. Then third name, is this, is your gopi bhav. Third name is your spiritual body name. That name is time. That is the name of your soul, name of your spiritual identity, 
that you have to meditate that I am this. Others all, other name will keep you in bodily consciousness. That name will bring you in your gopi bhav. That spiritual mood, if you want to live in your life, that name will bring you there. One is the name. Second. And then he mentions age. Age. You have to fix the age. It's not that today you are uh, 25, to next year you will do, become 26. Your age is fixed. Your age is fixed that you are 11 year. What is your age is fixed. It's not changing. Days are even not changing. You are young girl with this name and this age. And this is your cloth color. Color also to think. This is very important color. And why you wear the cloth like that? To remain that I am my, this is the color of the cloth. What is my skin color? Is also fixed. To meditate in my gopi bhav, this is my skin color. How much thing? Name, color of the cloth, color of the body, and age. It's very easy to meditate. Only one thing if you meditate, you want gopi bhav, and slowly this bhav, your sarup will become enlightened. You can see your sarup. Hmm. Yes. And so many other things like this, like name and age. Age, seva. What is your service? What is your nature? What is your kunya? All you, only this seven, eight thing. One thing you remember, eight thing you remember, you all said. This meditation will keep you enlightened in that. To go people. Right or not? Yeah, the material name we received from our parents, it will bring us to another place. And this will bring you to another place. Which place you want to live, that's the point. And this place, if you start living, your sense and material desire will become down and down and slowly. It will be under control of you. Because you, you are separate than this. And there will be chitta vritti. Chitta vritti. Yeah. All this information, does it, is it revealed from within or does it come from your Gurudev? It's and come it, from Radhika. <laughs> <laughs> How Gurudev will know, with, he, Gurudev is only small servant of Radhika. It comes from Radhika and Radhika said to Gurudev, to his servant, not Gurudev, to his her servant, that I like this to make a servant. Can you help him to bring to me? Then this servant start helping to bring closer to Radhika. This is the work of the servant to follow the instruction like a instrument of Radhika. <coughs> we see Guru there, but she is the servant of Radhika. Instrument of Radhika. I have heard, I don't know if it's true, that somebody go to Radha Kun 
you meet uh, three, four uh, Babaji, and you receive uh, three, four different uh, Siddhadeva. <coughs> Why happened this? Could you repeat that, please? Say, explain what you say. Say, she yes. want to listen. Ah. I think she, she explains. She. Because she explains. Saranagati So I say you, She instruct you to his servant and you receive. Through the med servant of Radhika. And you no accept. Again you go to other place, <laughs> you receive. Even the same med servant cannot say this, again this. Like a, somebody received one name and all details, and after twenty-four hours, six hours after you not write everything nicely, and you go to the same guru and ask what is my name and this and that, he will not say you. He don't know. Because it was message, you receive and it's finished. He's a very personal. That is your subject to preserve. If you not preserve, it's over. This message come from her. It will pass through with uh, her servant. And if you no know, write down and not practice, and you lose the paper, again go to please tell me again, <laughs> my Gurudev, you give me this. He don't know how he will say again. It's over. <laughs> he cannot repeat even. Because he cannot keep that. It's a message. And masses, he make this, what you say, surpass and over. It's a very divine thing. The Guru doesn't, huh? the guru doesn't read the, the message, he just give the... Finish. After that, he forgives. There is no fire, there is nothing like this. You have to protect your fire. Now then, there is more or less a fashion to go to Radha Kunda and take uh, this information, but uh, it's necessary that I have a completely <coughs> faith in the person who gives this information. That is a personal issue, uh, your personal thing, but this information without a spiritual identity will not go. You will always, you don't know there is any alternative in your life. You know that what you are, senses, physical body, you cannot differentiate yourself from your material identity without this. You will be fixed in that, that you cannot bring out from that to yourself. This is the grace of Chaitanya. This is the mercy He comes to give this. What is the reason of His appearance? This is only. And this is the mercy of Rupa Goswami He sent to realize and try to help this way. Mahaprabhu mercy. And this is the work of Rupa Goswami. Sanatan Goswami work is the relation. Raghunath 
दास गोस्वामी इज द प्रयोजन प्रेम प्रयोजन लव हाउ यू कैन लव विदाउट दिस आइडेंटिफिकेशन इफ यू लव विद फिजिकल आइडेंटिफिकेशन इट विल बी डिफरेंट विदाउट दिस आइडेंटिफिकेशन very easy to capture there my material mind has to change in its spiritual things all has to change that then there is nothing any material it become divine so we need alternative to to understand myself who i am i don't want to understand then i understand what is i am practicing क्या पंडित जी से श्रद्धा at what stage in bhakti does this come in the progression there is bhava prema and so on at what stage does that come shila guru dev as long as we have patience patience in the matter of receiving this we can know that our qualification to receive it has not yet come again Mm. When we are patient then we are not qualified. Yeah. It will come I am very patient. I am no greed for that. It will come and it is no greed. It will never come. Mm. So Shila Gurudev, he he says that comes when all patience has been washed away. When we are so totally impatient that we don't care whether we are whether uh, or not we are qualified. Mm-hmm. Don't care about qualification. I am not qualified. Is my qualification Bulgarian group? Hello. Welcome, welcome, come in. Yeah. How are you? Very good, thanks. Hey, Komal, give to Garnet to everyone. Come in, come sit down. How was the trip? Good. Yeah, yeah. We're really glad to be here. So nice, I'm so happy. You see. Hello, welcome, my dear. Take seat up, up, up. Also, you can sit. Yeah. No, there is a bed, not in red one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She is also from Bulgaria. Come along, you know. Yes, repeat what? No qualification is required. If never qualification will come to come out from this material boundless. Read again, Prabhu. This comes when all patience has been 
washed away. When we are so totally impatient that we don't care, we don't care whether or not we are qualified. Mm. We don't need to care that I am qualified or not. This is my qualification that I am not qualified. I am rascal, useless, bogus. This is my qualification. I need this. I need this greed in my life and I have no qualification. But I need this. I cannot live without this. That is my qualification. In, in, impatience. impatience. Because I have no greed, so I am not impatient. Everything is going on, little suffering is there, but it's better to <coughs> suffer. <coughs> Why to bother? <laughs> yes, the problem is everybody wants want, want to reach to the top, but they don't want to climb. <coughs> you have to climb there. Ah, yeah. it's not possible without that. <coughs> that must be pure greed. Why we spend all our lives trying to be patient with things, and then in the end it doesn't. <laughs> because no greed is there. Yeah, but in the end, all this passion you develop in your life, it's useless because you don't need patience. If you have a greed, you go to the shop and you see the rasagulla, sweet of Vrindavan, and you check your money, you forget to bring. And Siddhar is with you and he has money, you know this, then he will borrow it. Please, but I give, my greed is so high, you borrow me, I will give you back. Hmm? How you say, I, I cannot give you back, so I am begging from you to give me that I will eat and finish, I will not pay you back. <laughs> Two things. If you have greed, you can say like that. And he said, no, 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 I cannot give you money. Then you have to steal his money. <laughs> this is the greed. Borrow, beg or steal. But you have to fulfill your greed. If you not steal money from his pocket, then you have no greed. You will come back without it. <coughs> Borrow, beg or steal. <laughs> right or not? <laughs> that is meaning of greed. That you cannot live without this. One line more. Yeah. When that pure greed comes, God and Guru. God? Will, that is Radharani in this. God <laughs> and Guru will arrange that everything is revealed. You see? You can use this word, is God, you can use any prayer. It's so beautiful. For Radhika also you can use. God and Guru will help you. How to get it? 
They will arrange everything. Everything. If you arrange, you can. You don't know to arrange. <coughs> everything will arrange. <coughs> right, my dear sister. Everything will arrange. Because I am instrument only. What I can do? My greed will do everything. God has to come, and the Guru has to come and arrange everything. This is the work. My greed can bring them. So. I ask a question. You said uh, you we need greed, but you said everything is arranged. Everything is arranged. So everything is arranged. So why we need greed? <laughs> 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 answer. Get on the answer in English. Because if we don't have greed, then say you. So I want to give something very uh, precious thing to somebody. Say like a like a spiritual, book, but someone who does not interesting any spiritual. Book, oh no no no! I don't I don't need. Well, if, even though I want to give some gold, but if I give to the Dog and hogs. The dog said, "No, no, no, I don't need." So similarly, therefore, we need spiritual greed. Because if we have greed, then we can appreciate and we can more. We can go more, go up, go go up. Yeah, very good. So, so. My my greed is arranged by Radharani or by myself. Greed is your. Greed is by. Then she will arrange everything. God and Guru will arrange. Okay. Then Radharani and Jayananda will arrange everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> <Jai Ho. laughs> Thank you so much. It's the greed for mercy, or the greed for love, or the greed for seva, or greed. That is your. This is the greed for that, that feeling of one associate of Krishna in Vrindavan to have that mood of that servant. I want to start with the same feeling as Rupa Manyari. Does the, the disciple express that greed by asking the Guru, the servant of Radhika? <laughs> or does the, the disciple show the greed and wait until the Guru... The answer. No patience, no waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so there will be many questions this week, I guess. <laughs> you see? This is the point. <laughs> No. Borrow, beg, or steal. <laughs> this is breathing of greed. Sarnagati put the hand to steal the silver money. <laughs> this is means of greed. <laughs> In many books about yoga, they say that the first question the other should put it to ask, Who am I? But this question should be read differently. This question in reality is what I want. It's put like this, but it's meant what, what do I want. And then if you ask me what you want, then you know what to do. Jai Maharaj. 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 Jai Maharaj.
Hey, Maharaj, may I ask you a question? So, you said that the, the greed that, well, you said that basically you have a desire, right? the huge greed on something. And you ask Guru that the yeah. etiquette is like that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I just made that intrusion, but ask him. If he tells me to answer, I will. What? So, huh? if you have a, like a huge desire or greed or something, but uh, desire is the has a mature, material property. It's a material thing to desire something. It's not spiritual. It's like every scripture says that reason of suffering is uh, uh, too tamas, much, right? Too much greed. Yeah, so it's kind of contradictory statement mm -hmm. that we need greed in one, mm -hmm. from one, and, and we don't need it at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, the brand any material thing. <laughs> so you, if the desire is material, so why we over? There are two type of desire. One is for the material, and one is for the spiritual. So, so what type of desire is this? If is this desire is bringing to spiritual consciousness, it it will is a divine. Everyone, every word is used here and there. Material also for that and also there also. Yeah. Oh, 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 not from that side. That is give from hand. You not see how they give. Mm. Yeah. The thing. How you use it? They say that moksha is the lack of desires. Is that basically there are no desires in moksha? Their true freedom and liberation is something that is lack of desires, lack of greed. There is no desire for liberation. Okay, okay, I'm telling you. Answer. What is meaning of moksha? Like total freedom. Right? Free. The Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma. When you know yourself that you are soul, you are free. And when you practice to live in that, you are the happiest and free person. Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma means who is realized person. St. Francis, why he was free? Because he realized his Brahma Bhuta. He realized that he is a soul. The, all animals and birds and everyone is coming to him because this freedom he got. The birds and others are also free to meet him because this is the freedom. It is not a freedom. After death I will become free. That is no moksha. You don't know at the time of death how much sickness will catch me and how my mind will suffer and painful. That time nobody becomes fear. We have to practice in living consciousness, in living stage, how to make myself free. That is to identifying myself is making freedom. Is done. Sit down. Yeah. Making freedom. 
If I identify myself, you start living in me, you are free. But now you have to do, not the time of death. Now, that is freedom. That is, that is the avi, this is the A in our bhakti yoga. A and Z alphabet is there. Then how after that we have to go on? And many place this is the Z, this is the last thing to do. What is good? When there is A and then many alphabet we have to learn how to practice to be in that. This is bhakti. Bhakti yoga means loving practice. Loving means not physical loving. From that soul consciousness loving practice. So always you have to be conscious with that living identity to love. Like, see the example of St. Francis. He was not loving physically. He was loving from his soul consciousness. And he is living the birds and animals and they are coming and playing with them. He is taking care of the sick people. Why? Because he is loving the soul of that body, not outside. That is liberation. He was liberated person. So he was liberated and continued to live in the material world. Is it correct? Liberated and in service, not in material world. He was not continuing in material world for his enjoyment. That is material. When I want my enjoyment with this, is a material. And when I want to serve with this, all my material things to service to the others is a spiritual, is a divine. Thinking, I give you homework. Now you work out. To evening we will talk, but good subject. You see the life of Jesus. He, the moment he start, he realized he start loving and caring and giving everyone love and caring to all living entity, helping only. He, you can say material or spiritual. He was he spiritually elevated. <coughs> he was liberated. He was, but he said that he came to help others. I said, so why he came? <laughs> why not you understand? You also came to help others. We all came to help others. Yeah, but that was his sacrifice. I mean, he kind of... Are they sacrifice for whom? He sacrificed for his, in his love, not for us. He don't know us. He sacrificed for his Abba. Father. Yeah. But we say that he sacrificed for us, bogus. How he know about us? One thousand, two thousand years back we are coming. How he will sacrifice for us? Then I am reducing his love with his father. We are not 
making high of his love with his father. I make shorter to his love. His love was so intense, he can do anything for his father. That is the meaning of love. And he do it. And he proved it, that he said that I do everything for my father. Try to understand. If you understand Jesus, many things you will understand. Right or not? Right. If you misunderstand him, never if that is not clear, you cannot come to Vedic philosophy. You will cannot understand. You have to fix it nicely first. Then they will keep you in bodily consciousness. Because they cover with us to identify bodily consciousness. It's not. It's spiritual word only with the soul, then it's spiritual word start. He was not a yogi. He was a devotee. He was a lover. He was a mad in the love of his father. When you will this realization, then you will understand him. He can do anything for his father. That great love nobody can do. And Vrindavan is a place also to see that love. How much Radhika is in love with Krishna, you see. That you come to see. If you understand, if you have a love for Jesus, you will love Vrindavan. This is the place of lovers. And if any yogi want to be a lover, then is the place. What is the meaning of yoga? Yoga means the when two meetings, that is yoga. Two lovers when they meet, that is yoga. You see, there are two lovers are meeting. That is their yoga. It's heart yoga. What we do, the asana pranayam is heart yoga. By pressure I do. But the reality is the two souls, when they love, they meet each other, is yoga. It's a divine meeting of divine couple. Divine lovers when they meet. Lovers can anyone. Mother, son can be a lover. Mother leader. Again they are in yoga. Friend, friend is in yoga. Conjugal lovers are in the yoga. Three stage of yoga. Son and father can be in yoga. God and son cannot be in yoga. Because he is too high. He, Son will always like father, not God. Right or not? And in Vrindavan, mother will always like son, not God. Sanatini, you like God or son? You see? No, nobody can like God to make son. He is worried. He likes son. I don't know he is God or not. That is a beauty. No mix-up. Then relation will not become tasteful. It's more when love, lover is higher and beloved is junior. Then it goes more faster. More feelings can go. Nature. 
because I am a Vrindavan, I am sharing with you. Kya Maharaj? Chik kya rahe ki ne? Prem bhoomi hai Maharaj, hum to prem ki baat jane. So divine is always divine. Material is always material. Who bring to you material consciousness is material. Who bring you in your soul identity, in divine consciousness, that is a spiritual. many examples. You ask, he is living in Italy, Tarni. When I go, I always go to San Francisco place. Right or not? Yes. This time I cannot go because of sickness, but I always go and respect that because of his love and realization. I will say you some story. In Hungary, one place, opposite Budapest, <coughs> is a place of Dudo Boko. Means the stone is beating like a heart. Dudo Boko, Boko, like this somewhat. I went there and I will say this is true. I go Bulgaria from 2000 <laughs> and then I bring me to monastery. The old priest was there. We talk about, he say he want to know about incarnation and this, that. I say, my dear, incarnation, you understand like this. There are two mother. One mother always excuse to someone, to the child. It's okay. Again you try to go do good thing. Go on. Again he do mistake. Again he clean and say, okay, go and play. Go and play. And one mother is so strict. He don't give chance. He said, over, I have no relation with you, go out. So which mother is good? <coughs> who give chance to you to change yourself, or who never give chance to you one time? My question, answer. Huh? The first one. First one. Who give chance? Yes, that is incarnation. <laughs> the mother who gives you a chance to improve yourself. Okay, you do mistake this time. Next time I am giving you a chance. Do up. Do more. Huh? It's the nature of mother to give chance. Now my decision, what I want to do in my life. Again she is ready to give chance to us. This is reincarnation, in, incarnation, what you say. Right or not? Yeah. Dīnu smīn yata de kaumaram yavaram yara tata de hantara giving a new, receiving a new body again and again. Again. Because now you become tired, you don't understand this life. Again you try. Maybe you will understand. You will become liberated, you will become free, you will become my lover, you will come to me. Love is the way. 
to be close with him. Very nice eyes. I talk. What did he say? This uh, he hugged me. He's so wonderful, my dear. Now everything become clear to me. He was also very good priest. He makes so nice arrangement there. He has a big monastery in Bulgaria. There are two, three good monasteries. 